What is going on, people? Day number 11 of the 31 Days Hath October series, which is happening on this channel, is upon us. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the 31 Days Half October series is, it's my take on the 31 Days of Horror, 31 Days of Halloween, that a whole bunch of people are doing. Uh, so, I'll get into it, but pretty much it's uh, 31 horror movie reviews in 31 days, so you're going to get a horror movie review for each day of the month of October. Because everyone loves watching horror movies uh, in October. I mean, I love watching horror movies all year round. But most people watch their scary movies around this time. So if you're looking for new stuff to watch, check out all the days that I do reviews for. Or if you've seen the movies I review, or they might not be up your alley, check everybody else who's doing some kind of 31 days. I'll have the link to every one of their channels. I'll get into it more later. Uh, but before I get into this day, or this review, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this review, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell button. You really don't have to this month because I'll be doing a review every day. But hit that bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff after this month. Uh, and of course, if you uh, want to comment and let me know if you've seen this movie or might not watch it or whatever have you. Or share this so more people know about it. It would be, you know, helpful for sure. So, like I said, I call mine uh, reviews the 31 Days Half October. I do it a little bit different. I try to do more independent movies. And I try to do them in alphabetical order. But this year it went a little awry, a little all over the place. I'll try to pick it up again. But I watched, uh, for yesterday's review, Blade. Um, I also bought a whole bunch of, well, a couple movies from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, so, I thought I'd... You know, review those because they are more independent movies. Uh, they are a little bit older. Um, and I, you know, I watched a couple of them and found them to be, you know, funny and everything. So anyway, yesterday was Blades. I'm going back in time or back in the alphabet. And the movie I'm reviewing is Andy Lee's Meat Pies. This was a 1992 movie. I'll give you a little, little glimpse at the back. Uh, of this, but anyway, this is put out by Vinegar Syndrome. Like I said, it was from 1992. Uh, it was uh, directed by Joseph Robertson. It was written by Joseph Robertson and Gerald Stein. Uh, it stars Karen Black. Pat Morita is in this, which which I found uh, very interesting. Uh, and Christine Rose, also Michael Berryman's in this, uh, among others. So pretty much what this is, it's a story about. Auntie Lee, who's later on in the movie, you know, it, it doesn't really matter too much, but you find out that she's pretty much like a Satanist and stuff, and pretty much what she does is she sends her four nieces out to find unsuspecting men to bring back to the house, or pretty much kill, maim, whatever you want to call it. Most of them, they end up back at the house, but there are other ones that uh, they, you know, kill and then have to bring to the place. But anyway, she uses these unexpected men and their body parts and stuff for her own meat pies. And this business is, you know, booming. Uh, it's a small town and everybody loves these meat pies that she makes. So pretty much they go around with no problems because at this point in time, you know, she's selling it to everyone. Everybody knows them kind of deal. They find them kind of a little weird and kooky, but they don't expect too much from anything but, you know, getting deliveries of these meat pies. Well, one of the people that they end up killing uh, is now the, the father is this wealthy businessman or whatever from New York. And he sends a private investigator to go and find his son. So as this private investigator goes around, now the... Uh, bits and pieces are starting to come together of what are happening to these because there's a lot of missing people in this town and stuff. Uh, bits and pieces are coming together and uh, I don't want to say they point directly to this, but you know some of the signs are pointing there. Uh, like I said, Michael Berryman's in this who plays uh, this like henchman type deal. It's almost he's almost like a, not like an Igor to uh, Drac uh, Frankenstein, but he plays this, like, mentally slow, it seems like, character where he's pretty much the 
cleaner upper kind of deal like he'll clean the trucks or anything if they do bring home victims and stuff uh like i said pat marita's in here once i saw him i'm like okay well that's different he plays a, a sheriff in this movie and it's just overall it is a zany movie it is a horror comedy type deal um and it is you know more comedy than horror which it seems like is I mean, I enjoy that kind of stuff, uh, but some people might not. But it is, you know, a fun time. There are some, you know, gorier scenes in this, like decapitations and stuff like that. Uh, but overall, it is definitely a fun movie. Not only that, but you get a lot of good-looking women in this movie, which isn't a uh, bad thing. Uh, but it is something I never saw. I didn't see it all those years ago. Um, but I'm like, just to cover art to this, I'm like... I have to check it out, see what the hell it is, and I enjoyed it for sure. So, Auntie Lee's uh, Meat Pies, I'd say go ahead and check it out. Uh, for those of you who don't know, check the description for everything I talk about, because what I do is I'll take the IMDB write-up, I'll leave that in there. I'll leave a trailer to the movie, so if you want to check it out before <laughs> either you purchase it or uh, check it out, I'll leave the link to that. I'll leave the link to the Vinegar Syndrome page because I believe that's the only place you can buy this. I tried to look for uh, Blades on Amazon, which I couldn't find. I'll check on Amazon because I know sometimes people don't like, uh, they have like a Prime account or whatever. Uh, but I'll see where I can purchase this. And like I said, check the uh, description as well for anybody else doing a 31 Days. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people uh 13th Wolfman, Retro Horror, Random Horror, I Am uh, Ice Lord, um, uh, Torch the Fennekin. A whole bunch of people doing some kind of Halloween, 31 Days, 31 Days of Horror, whatever you want to call it. A whole bunch of people doing it. So if you've seen this before, it might, might not be your cup of tea. Um, and anything else I reviewed, check out everybody else because they, you will have an abundance of horror movies to watch. Not only... You know, this uh, October, but next October, and so on and so forth. Like I said, I watch horror movies all the time, so I'm always looking to uh, for different movies to watch, different movies to check out for sure. Uh, but yeah, Auntie Lee's Meat Pie. So check the description for everything I talk about. I'll also leave the links to all my other social medias. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a Twitter. I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me. I got a TikTok. I'm part of the Wicked Horror Show where tomorrow night... Check us out Tuesday nights, 9 o'clock Eastern, uh, 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we usually have a guest on, which tomorrow we'll have the director from the movie Stream. If we don't have a guest, we'll just talk random horror. So if you're into horror podcasts, check us out for sure on Facebook and YouTube, Wicked Horror Show. Check us out. Like I said, I'll leave the uh, links to everything I talk about in the description. And uh, yeah, day number 11 in the books, almost halfway through the month. Uh, so check out Auntie Lee's Meat Pies, check out all my other reviews, and of course check out everybody else that's doing uh, the 31 Days, check the description, and uh, I guess until tomorrow, I'll see you guys.